Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be bending the sides for an acoustic guitar. So most of the videos I make are instructional. I didn't really feel comfortable making a how-to video for bending the guitar sides, because this is my first time doing it, but um, I thought I'd post it to YouTube anyways, because it is kind of an interesting process and hopefully I don't screw it up. Um, pretty much um, how this is going to work is I sprayed this with water a couple minutes ago so this one's nice and wet. I'm going to heat it up with this silicone heating pad. Um, I'll put a link to this in my video description. It heats up to like 300 degrees and then you clamp it to this jig I built and you clamp the center down first and then you clamp the ends down and it's supposed to bend into shape and hold the shape. So um, I watched as many YouTube videos as I could about this process. I'm going to take my favorite parts from all those videos and hopefully um, it works. So here we go. So I'm going to wrap the side in this paper. Then I'm wrapping that in some tin foil. Then I'm going to sandwich it in between these aluminum sheets with the heating pad inside and plug it in. Okay, so the surface of the mat is about 200 degrees now. Online it said anywhere from like, I think I wanted it 280, but I'm gonna start taking it over to the jig and then start bending it while it continues to heat up and hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, so I think we don't want to go too fast, but we don't want to go too slow. Um, we'll kind of squish it down here. Okay, give me a clamp. Super hot, also. Um, okay, so now I have the call lined up. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're about six minutes into the bend, I'm kind of, I'm feeling stuck, but I think I'll wait and let the wood readjust to the new shape, and then try to clamp it down a little bit further. Um, this is a good time to thank Eliezer Perez and um, Ezra De Luca for helping me out with the video they're filming me. I'll link to both of you guys' YouTube channels also in my video description. They're also YouTubers. Oh yeah, there it goes. Fuck! Ooh, the metal heats up really hot. So if you're doing this, be careful. I've seen a lot of people build these jigs with a more contraption, so it's more safe. And I'm really realizing right now they probably do that to avoid burning themselves. Which is smart, safety first always. And nine minutes in, the temperature is 310, so I think that's a little bit too hot. I'm going to unplug it and let it cool down for a second. If 
probably would have been a good idea to put a screw up to this table into the jig because I'm also realizing now that working with a loose jig probably isn't all that safe because it could fall off. Okay, we're almost 13 minutes in. The heating pad is at 220. I just plugged it in again. Um, because it got up to like three something. So now we're heating back up. This is the burn. I think I got that at like seven minutes in. But so so far. It's really going pretty well. I haven't heard any cracking. Nothing's caught on fire. Only got one burn. So I just got the lower bout down pretty tight on the curve. It looks like the upper bout um, popped a little bit up, so I'm gonna try to smooth that back, unclamp it, smooth it back down a little bit, and then reclamp it so we're tight on the curve. I'm really not sure how much spring back this is gonna give me, because when I have done some steam bending before, and there's really a lot of spring back, and so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to fix that, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Okay, so I waited a couple days to let it sit in here and set to the shape. I'm really hoping it's not either cracked or charred or something went wrong. So I'm excited to pull it out. Um, here's the burn I got. It started to blister today, but um, I think I'll probably survive. Sweet. No cracks or anything. That is actually staying to shape really well. Jeez. So I wasn't really planning on filming much from this guitar because I don't really know what I'm doing, but I might post a couple of videos for the more interesting processes. I will do all the videos for my second guitar. Thanks again Eleazar and Ezra for helping me film, and don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more of my videos.